Hey Libra, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. Thanks for joining in. This is your July love reading for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may resonate for you. This might be your reading for the month. Some may, may not. Um, just try to listen with an open mind and see what messages come out. Take what you can, leave the rest. Um, and of course, if you would like to get a personal reading, uh, all of the links are below in the description box. And you can also join me in my live streams to get um, questions answered as well. Okay. Also, for those of you who are Android users, you can now reach me on the Instant Go app. Just download it from your Google Play Store. Okay. So I did shuffle the cards. I did pull out and lay the spread already. Um, I am going to pull some clarifiers for your reading for July. Remember, this is a romance love reading. I can also, though, cover areas of family, friends, and so forth. Okay, so let's take a look and see what the love message is for you, Libra. Okay, you have new love. A new person is stirring your romantic feelings, okay? So... As you know, sometimes this card can represent someone new coming into your life, and other times it can represent um, the reignition of a love situation starting over. Now, your past position, I'm sorry, past position here is the Hermit card. So in the past, there was a time of deep reflection, isolation, um, spending some time alone, okay? Um, perhaps not really getting involved too heavily with anyone or anything, just kind of doing your own thing, um, thinking about things, figuring things out. Sometimes hermit energy can represent a very healing time as well. So let me clarify this because it is a major arcana card. Okay, Knight of Cups. There may have been a proposal or an offer for some from, for some of you. In the past, maybe there were wedding plans or someone got married in the past. And uh, this could be from a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And the energy, um, perhaps it, for some of you, left you feeling quite isolated or needing to think about this, not being sure about this situation. Maybe there was um, some type of uh, pulling away uh, and going into isolation in regard to some type of commitment or relationship or um, a love offer. Maybe even an apology came to you in the past and, um, and there was just this, I kind of feel like a withdrawal, withdrawal type of energy uh, from whomever this person was. It doesn't have to be a water sign. Um, it just was some type of communication that came through in regard to somebody offering their cup and somebody not being sure about whether or not what to do about it or what to take it should it, um, I feel like contemplating or thinking about whether or not to accept an apology this is the Virgo card here as well contemplating whether or not to accept an apology or to accept an offer okay going inside to reflect on this now the current energy here for July mm, there's some grief here. There's some loss. There's a feeling of um, abandonment, a feeling of um, sorrow, regret. Okay. So um, it's challenged by the uh, five of swords. Somebody here had to uh, stand up for themselves. Somebody had to um, either had to defend themselves or stand up for themselves, or there could be an energy of um, the five of swords does represent someone who's just slaying a situation and not thinking about the feelings of other people. Maybe that happened to you. Maybe this is something you're doing. Um, whether it is or not, it's just an energy that's surrounding the month of April, at least starting. Okay. There's a loss. Uh, there may have been like an abusive situation or um, somebody has, was very cocky and bold in uh, communication. Okay. And it left a feeling of regret, sorrow. Uh, there's a grieving that could be happening at this time. Okay. Some of you may not have received an apology that you wanted also in the past and were thinking or hoping it didn't get closure from something from the past as well. 
Okay. So the energy that's driving this reading here is the higher font. So this is talking about doing the right thing. This is talking about having, um, staying in, standing and sticking with morals, um, staying with traditional roles, having, um, a spiritual outlook, maybe seeking help, um, getting some spiritual counseling of some sort. The Hierophant energy is Taurus. Okay. Let's clarify that because that is a major arcana. And both of these are five cards. So I do feel like there is getting some spiritual counsel or talking with someone in regard to this situation here, in regard to some type of um, possible argument or someone who was trying to strong arm. Again, could have been you, could have been another person. Okay, four of swords, getting some healing. Mm -hmm. Taking a time out, taking a rest in the month of July meditate, uh, going into a um, meditative state. Um, some going back to church, going back into their religion or getting into um, their spirituality again. Some seeing a psychiatrist um, or some type of therapy or counseling. Okay, this is what is, this is driving. This is the root of the reading. So this seems to be... Um, the undertone for the month of July, needing to take a break, withdraw, uh, get some spiritual enlightenment, talk to somebody um, who can bring healing to a situation, okay? What's crowning is the queen of, queen of swords. That's your energy, Libra. Um, I feel like you really wanna communicate something to somebody. You, you have something that you would like to say and uh, you're receptive to communication to and fro. Um, but I feel like this weighs heavily on your head, on your mind in the month of Le in the month of um, July. Uh, the queen of swords can be quite direct in what she wants to say. And she does not stay in an energy of um, fluff. <laughs> I'm just, I'm looking at these clouds and I just feel like fluff. <laughs> she's, she cuts right through that cloud energy. You know, she's just like, there's nothing foggy about Libra. So um, it's also crowning is that um, it's also saying for you to also not only communicate with what you wish to say or with what you feel like you need to say, but to also be open to listening. Um, as her hand sits out here, it's almost as if there's conversation. She's got her hand out to receive. So there's an energy here, of course, of needing to be not only communicating, but um, hearing someone out or hearing whomever it may be, whoever is giving advice or, whomever you need to talk to, um, to have dialogue, to have a conversation about this. Now, this is crowning. This is not advice. This is just what's on your mind that you, you wish to communicate. You wish to, to say something to someone. It's been or will be playing on your mind. Now, the Ace of Cups here. There's an energy here. Um, can we start again? Can we have this communication again? Can we have this divine connection again, okay? Um, it's funny because it's like the cup is being handed and her hand is open, um, but her hand is not open palm up to receive. It's more like palm sideways. So um, I do feel that the universe will be bringing a potential new opportunity, as I was saying with the new love card, for um, again, either new love or a reigniting of a love situation, okay? Bringing the love back around again. And I feel, um, I feel, Libra, you would like to speak more than you would like to hear or more than you would like to receive the love at this point um, because I feel what's most prominent in your mind is you have a point or something that you need to say that you wish to get across in July. Now, what's coming up? is just that there will be communication with the ace of swords. There will be an energy of um, cutting through the bullshit. 
Okay. Um, there will be communication back and forth between you and another person. Um, and I feel that it's good. There will be victory in this communication. This situation will be resolved. There will be a way to overcome these issues and these problems. Okay. Because the Ace of Swords does just that. It's a potential for, um, jumping, leaping over the hurdles. Okay. And, um, whatever it is that you need to say, I feel like it will be heard, but it's also important for you to be receptive to receiving love back in return, uh, whatever positive feedback, um, being open to receiving the love because there may be a fear or a fear or, um, you know, because there was maybe some type of hurt or grief or loss, uh, there may be this energy within you to um, fight back and slay and, and say what's on your mind, regardless of whether others get hurt or not. Okay. Um, and that's very important that you pay attention to the Ace of Cups being here because that's very significant. Um, because whatever the situation is, it is infused with love. It is infused with deep emotion. It is infused with good intention. Okay. Now the position of you right here is the eight of swords. And this is a card about someone who is, um, sometimes playing the victim or is a self-imposed prisoner. Um, I noticed that she does have a slight smirk on her face. So I do feel like there can be an energy of feeling justified in being in this position. Okay. And maybe you are, uh, maybe somebody hurt you very badly and maybe you feel righteous or you feel as if, um, you, need to stay in this position for a little while, this, um, feeling victimized or trapped. It, it may give you a sense of, um, validation in some way, but I don't feel like that energy is going to stay. Um, this also can have something to do with feeling, um, not good enough or feeling low in self-esteem. But the advice is that, um, you don't have to stay in that position. Okay. You can easily walk away from this and, gain your self-esteem back and you can easily walk away and feel good about yourself again, but it's really just a choice for you. Okay. So if you need to stay in this for a little while, that may be something that you need to do because maybe it gives you a sense of, um, well, it's protective energy as well. It does give you a sense of feeling protected as if perhaps maybe you, you, um, don't feel like, you did anything wrong. Maybe you didn't, maybe it was somebody else. And, um, but this position does not serve you, but I feel there is an energy here of, um, needing to stay in this position as well, because the card after this is the nine of swords, which is extreme stress and anxiety. And I feel like you are not willing to be in a worse position than where you are right now. And, that is why the communication needs to happen to avoid that. Okay. So the environment that's surrounding you and perhaps the other person, they have the two of sorts. This person is quiet. They're not speaking, um, at this time they are, you know, during this first, perhaps or in the beginning or from now until, uh, the middle of the month, perhaps this person is really just trusting their intuition about this connection which is the two. Okay. The partnership, they are thinking about things. They are blocking. They don't wish to communicate right now. They don't wish to, um, say anything. They're not sure what to do. Um, they are taking advice from others to try to figure out how to, um, heal the situation, but I don't see them really, um, reaching out too much or communicating too much currently, but going into the middle of the month, I feel like that energy is going to shift and that will change maybe in a couple of weeks from the beginning of July. 
All right. Hopes and fears. So the King of Swords is here. Some of you could be dealing with another air sign. We have Virgo on the table. Virgo energy. Okay. Um, you could be dealing with another Libran or Aquarius or Gemini. And um, or Taurus. Uh, if that's not your situation, then don't um, don't take that in. Okay. Or maybe it is and you just don't know where their sign placements are. But either way, the King of Swords energy is very masculine, very cutting. Queen of Swords, she's much more receptive. Okay. King of Swords is not. Um, he's a jerk. Um, I think there's a part of you that fears coming off that way um, because you, you wish to be understood. And I think... I don't think. I feel like sometimes you need to work on being receptive to others because it would be very easy for you to just cut someone, cut them off, not not literally, figuratively, that um, anyone that was hurting you, <clears throat> there's a fear of, um, you know, abandonment and hurt and being taken advantage of, of course. I think there's uh, you're a little conflicted in some way because there's parts of you that feel like you need to be this way as the king of swords but there's other parts of you that maybe it's a quality about yourself that you struggle with okay because you can be very truthful and uh, be right and straight to the point and um, so I feel this has more to do with yourself um, when you're in your masculine energy okay um, there may be an energy of um, vacillating between the two at different times okay um, if this is another person that you're dealing with it's the same thing. It's just applied to somebody else. But the outcome is beautiful because I see reconciliation here with between friends. I see um, a reunion with a particular person. Okay, there's, celeb there's something here that's coming up. There would be communication and something to celebrate. So I feel going through the month of July, there will be an energy of healing is how I feel. Now, as far as like somebody new coming in, if this isn't the same person you've been dealing with, I, um, I'm not seeing. I am. I am seeing someone new coming in, but they came in and the, they came forward in the past, and it didn't work out. And I feel that there was some trouble with that for a little while. But I do feel like that's coming back around again between the two of you. Okay, temperance energy, Sagittarius, there's healing. It's divine healing. This is a divine connection here. And um, there's also an energy of three people reuniting in the outcome. Temperance is, to me, um, you know, very blessed. She has her two cups, which represents the two of cups. She is um, behind the scenes. It's Archangel Michael making everything well again, mixing up the elixir of love, the love potion, so that everyone can share and enjoy once again, okay? Or just you and another person. So it's it's a very beautiful reading. Let me see what your love oracle angel message is here before we finish. And I am praying that this reading will upload and the sound will be good quality. Okay, please, Spirit, give me angel. Low oracle message. These cards are awfully hard to shuffle. So, oh. <clears throat> surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So it's a very beautiful reading for you, Libra. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this. And again, if you would like to get a personal reading, just go to the description box below. All the information is there. <clears throat> and please do, um, if you have Android, download the Instant Go app from your Google Play Store, and you can get personal readings through the app from me within 24-hour turnaround time, depending on my uh, how booked up I am. It's it's, a, it's an ebb and flow thing. So best wishes to you in July, Libra, and I will see you very soon. Take care.